Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. I am on an online Zoom call with Mr. Danny Peck, who is the Director of Product Strategy and Planning at Philips TV. And thanks a lot, Danny, for taking the time to speak to us. Thank you for the invitation, uh, Vincent, and hello to everybody. I will guide you through uh, all our new picture quality innovations in the coming minutes. Yes. At Philips TV, you take picture processing very seriously. Can you please explain to our viewers the improvements that you have made on the flagship Philips OLED Plus 935 in terms of the picture processing? Yes. Um, maybe before I go to the flagship, I could repeat uh, the, what we have been launching in the first uh, half of the year, which was our OLED 800 series with the new artificial intelligence processing, which is the core for the 800 series OLED, but of course also for the flagship. Our AI is working on neural networks. Basically what we have done is we have been boiling down a database of millions of pictures, uh, fed them through the neural network, uh, and that neural network classifies into different classifications of which there are uh, nature, phase, motion, dark, and other. That's the core of the 805 artificial intelligence uh, uh, processing, but also for the 935. With the 935 flagship, we go a couple of steps further because 935 uh, flagship has uh, actually more processing power than our 800 series OLED. It is a dual engine uh, chip now again, with uh, more processing power to, uh, to enhance, uh, uh, to make additional picture quality enhancements, of which one of them is, for instance, the uh, uh, smart bit enhancement. We already had smart bit enhancement in our previous generations, but we now have it based working on artificial intelligence. We call it Smart Bit Enhancement 2.0. It's really the next level. It's solving all your banding problems without losing any detail. Great achievement, big step forward. One uh, other one, the second one, is the Artificial Intelligence Machine Learned Sharpness. This is a re real new uh, sharpness enhancement uh, based on AI, and it enhances the sharpness in the picture uh, differently uh, on different places in the picture. So if you have very sharp parts of the picture, it will treat it differently than uh, medium sharpness. So it's really working local means, and the result of that is that you have always the optimum sharpness without, uh, even in the vivid mode, exaggerating. So we will not make people older while we want to make uh, trees and uh, roads uh, much sharper than uh, they are uh, in uh, reality. Uh, we really want to keep it balanced, although it is a, a vivid picture. The key word for our AI machine learning sharpness is that we can do local sharpening. And the third one is uh, Again, a next level in our um, unique feature, perfect natural reality, which you all know is converting all your SDR sources into uh, HDR look and feel. But now again, with a 30% uh, more natural sharpness appeal. Uh, basically the technology behind there is that we do highlight detection and uh, then uh, do highlight enhancement, which again makes it really very realistic. So just to recap, you have an improved decontouring filter that removes the posterization without destroying fine detail. And then you will also have a local edge enhancement kind of a AI application. And also the third one being the next step of perfect natural reality, which is uh, selective increase selective enhancement of highlight detail without it looking unnatural. That sounds very interesting. Now, in terms of the chipset itself, 
From reading the specs, I understand that you are using the 4th generation of the P5 engine. Is there any difference between the 805 and also the flagship 935? So yes, like I mentioned, 935 has one additional picture quality chip, which is uh, as unique as the other one, but to give more processing power in order to, for instance, to do the uh, better smart bit enhancement, you need uh, big, bigger filters and you need some more horsepower to do so. Same thing for our machine learning sharpness. It's all about enough processing power and that we do extra in the 935 through the additional uh, chip. Okay, with the 935 being an OLED TV, I think burn-in is understandably a concern among consumers and especially gamers. Are you doing anything to tackle this problem at Philips TV? Definitely. So we already have a lot of uh, precautions in our products uh, from the first start with OLED up till now, like uh, uh, static detections uh, of the picture, uh, do screen savers, do picture shifts, all of those things everybody is doing. But now with the 935, we go one step beyond. We are using again our additional uh, horsepower, processing power we have in the set. And we are able now uh, using a grid to check the complete picture. It's a grid of uh, over 30,000 zones, to be precise, 30. 2,400 zones, we are uh, analyzing the picture and checking for static content. And um, by doing so with such a high number of zones, we can precisely uh, detect where static parts in the picture are all the time and which parts are moving. And by being very sure about things that are static, meaning they will hurt your display on burning in, we are able to very locally reduce gradually the contrast of those static parts in the picture, just those, and not affecting the rest of the picture. By that, we are actually solving the burn-in problem of OLED by 95% for all your static content. Means, in general, logos, but also, for instance, if you're a big gamer and uh, the, the gaming content, some things like scoreboards can be very static. Uh, also there, we will avoid your burning on your very expensive uh, uh, OLED screens. Is this technology, this grid detection, a technology that has been developed exclusively by Philips TV? Yes, definitely. So it's our own chip, our own algorithm that is running. Uh, this is uh, completely designed here in the Innovation Center in uh, Ghent in Belgium. Fantastic. Given your penchant for picture processing, I was really quite surprised to see Philips TV being listed as one of the TV brands to support filmmaker mode. So can you explain your rationale behind this, behind adopting filmmaker mode on your 2020 sets? Yes, basically uh, I need to follow the market. And today in our TVs, we have also what is called the movie mode because some people like movie mode more than, than the vivid mode. I'm, uh, I'm preferring vivid like, uh, like you say. Um, but as we already have many years now in a row, the, uh, the movie mode, which is a smart picture mode with all picture processing switched off, then it's only a very small step to go to filmmaker mode or to actually uh, change our movie mode into filmmaker mode. Uh, we already had a mode without any picture processing and filmmaker mode is also such thing. So we, uh, can support this. Um, but as it works with notifying the uh, consumer that uh, a movie with uh, a director intent is coming on a screen, he, he, you're giving the choice to the consumer to choose for that filmmaker mode or to stay on the mode he is. And in that respect, 
uh, I can easily live with, uh, with the fact that uh, we also include the filmmaker mode in there. Having said that, uh, like you say, I'm pensioned on, uh, on picture processing. And uh, of course, I will always uh, stay uh, and advocate uh, that uh, P5 picture processing is the thing that you should use in our 925 TV rather than the filmmaker mode. But if you, as a consumer, uh, would like to follow Hollywood's uh, direction, uh, we are uh, having the filmmaker mode. Still, we uh, think P5 picture processing is better. Right. So I think what you're doing is to cater to all audiences, regardless of whether they prefer P5 processing or whether they prefer to have more picture processing turned off. So it's similar to how you support both HDR10 Plus and also Dolby Vision to cater to all the market. Uh, so that is extremely reassuring to hear. And OLED being OLED, ironically, because its pixel response time is so fast, one of the problems that many OLED owners have found is that you get this starter in 24p content. I personally don't see it because I'm used to the 24p starter, you know, from years of watching other display technologies. But from your point of view, are you doing anything extra to combat this problem for viewers who are sensitive to this 24p starter that is inherent because of the slow frame rate anyway? Uh, yes, like, uh, like actually we have different smart modes of which filmmaker mode is one of them, but we have our vivid smart picture mode, which gives you all the P5 picture processing. Same thing we have in our motion modes. So we have the motion mode, which is giving you a very smooth, complete, smooth and fluent picture. But we also have modes there, which uh, have the full judder like uh, Hollywood intended to, to have or a little bit of judder um, and a little bit of uh, smoothness uh, improvement. This year we are actually launching two new modes. Uh, one is called Pure Cinema. That's the one that has the full judder uh, but is still um, up converting to your 100 hertz uh, display meaning that it will um, reduce the uh, um, the uh, um, unsharpness of the motion, um, and then we have an other brand new mode which we call movie, and that movie mode is a very mild form of uh, judder compensation. It is improving um, your the the judder a little bit, but to a very small extent to avoid any soap opera effects or halo effects. Um, and so if you're into, uh, into having judder uh, or uh, and not into getting soap opera effects because of the heavy judder compensation, then the new mode, the new movie mode is your mode to be used. That all sounds very interesting certainly and I really look forward to testing and seeing your new OLED TVs when they launch later this year. Thanks a lot Danny for taking the time to speak to us. You know I hope viewers find his insight helpful and how he has actually explained the picture quality improvements on their new OLEDs and I think that you know there are many innovations at play here and I certainly look forward to receiving and testing your displays. Thank you, Vincent, for inviting me for this uh, explanation. It was my pleasure and I hope uh, people will uh, enjoy uh, later on our 935 products uh, when they uh, would uh, use uh, choose to buy them.